fadeaway world the Los Angeles Lakers are keen and desperate to go back to championship contention, as the post-Kobe Bryant era has brought nothing but frustration and attest to the patience of diehard Lakers fans watching their young studs develop. But now that the King has committed to join the Lakers and bring Showtime back to town, even despite the fact that they struck out on both Cousins and George, there may be a light at the end of the tunnel for the franchise. Even so, dethroning the Golden State Warriors looks like an impossible task right now after they finished Cousins signing but if Hollywood has taught us something is that anything can happen. So, why don't we go ahead and write a bit of a Hollywood story with the Lakers? Kobe returns now that they missed out on both Paul George and Demarcus Cousins and the team is unwilling to part with a lot of future assets to get Kawhi Leonard in town, it would be Kobe's turn to leave it all behind and dress in shorts again to try and beat the dubs. Kobe signs with the Lakers, naturally, Kobe would sign a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers, as he would never play for another franchise and would love the chance to stick it to the man and prove that he's the greatest player in franchise history, and will ever be. Lakers beat the Warriors in the WCF. The Los Angeles Lakers go on to the Western Conference Finals after sweeping James Harden and Chris Paul in the second round of the playoffs, taking the Golden State Warriors to seven games and eventually taking a 4-3 series victory after a last-second shot from the Mamba. Lakers beat the Celtics in NBA Finals. The rivalry is back. With James out of the Eastern Conference Finals, the Boston Celtics dominate from day one en route to the NBA Finals, with LeBron James blocking a Kyrie fadeaway at the buzzer to win the title. Putting averages of 30 points, 6 rebounds and 5 dimes a game to go along with 2 steals and 1.5 blocks a night, LeBron James gets another Finals MVP, especially thanks to his clutch defensive performance in Game 7. Next to him, Bryant would average 15 points, 7 boards and 10 dimes, being something of the likes of Jason Kidd during the Mavericks championship run. LeBron wins the fourth ring LeBron finally wins his fourth ring after striking out on back-to-back -back finals to take his record to 4-6 to six and re-enters the GOAT conversation after winning the NBA title with three different franchises as the team's go to guy. Kobe catches Jordan's six rings on the other hand, Kobe Bryant winds up winning his sixth NBA championship and finally ties Michael Jordan's six rings, lighting up the debate on which player was the greatest and confirming once and for all that there has never been a better Laker than him. Lakers tie Celtics 17 titles also, the Los Angeles Lakers would finally tie the Boston Celtics records after defeating them in the finals again, after Kobe also took them to school almost a decade ago. Winning the finals is great, but beating your lifelong rivals is even better. Kobe retires again proving that he's still got it and beating both the Dubs and the Celtics in the very same postseason, Kobe would hang the shorts once again and retire one more time, this time for good. Happily ever after everybody wins in this scenario. We get to see Kobe once again, LeBron finally wins another title, and the Golden State Warriors get beaten to make the league competitive again.